As soon as I am finished with my paperwork, I would like to discuss with you the wiring of a three-way switch. Hello there. Well, how to wire a three-way switch? I'm no electrician as I said, but this is a basic diagram of how to wire up a three-way switch and basically a three-way switch has three terminals. There is a common terminal and then the other two terminals are for what we call the travelers. Wiring up a three-way switch is not all that difficult. Unfortunately I don't have a three-way switch here to show you physically but I will show you on this diagram here. This is a uh, drawing of a three-way switch. This of course is your mounting screws here you know, or nails or wherever you hold it in. Now normally your regular switch would have two terminals one here and one here or one here and one here depending on the switch but here you've got two here and one down here. This is what they call the common. This is where your black wire would be connected and it would be uh, the feed from the line. These two gets connected to the travelers and I'll show you that in a minute. Now you may ask what is a three-way switch? Well let's say you you got a stairway and you're at the bottom of the stairs and there's no light turned on yet. Well what they usually do in those cases is they have what they call a three-way switch. You flip the lights on from down below so you can see your way up the stairs. When you arrive at the top of the stairs at the landing there'll be another switch that will enable you to turn it off. Now when you're ready to go back down the stairs again naturally the light is off you just want to turn it back on you turn it on from that switch that's at the top of the landing to light your way going down so you're all probably familiar with that but that's one of the applications for a three-way switch and basically a three-way switch has one extra terminal and that's why they call it a three-way you you know you might say well there's not three switches involved it's called a three-way because you got three terminals on the switch. Your average switch will only have two terminals but the three-way switch will have a common terminal and then two other screws which the traveler wires would be connected to and I'll show you that in the wiring diagram coming up right now. First of all you have your line coming in. Here's your neutral and here's your black. This comes from the service panel circuit breaker okay this is the hot wire this is the screw I was showing you on the uh, what they call the common screw on the um, switch okay so what you're using in this case is 14-3 with a ground so you've got a black wire you've got a red wire black and red and you've got the white neutral if you notice the neutral goes straight across uninterrupted and connects to one light. Here they got two lights in parallel but it doesn't matter whether you got one light or six lights it doesn't really matter. The hookup is the same. This is switch number one so you carry your runners it can be either black or red it doesn't matter what goes on what screw will go here and then your other switch which is common will go to your lights so if you feed in from here you're getting the hot power so when the switch is in this position this black one is energized and when this position is switches over into this position this light will light right now the light is off because neither switch is making contact to these terminals but now if this wire here, this switch here, was to be connected 
over here, you'd have your current flowing here, true to black, down here, and if this was over here, you'd have a complete circuit. By the same token, if it was switched over to the red, okay, your power would travel down the red, and this is why they call these the travelers, down the red, this would be over here, and you'd have a light. So as long as one of these is open, the lights will remain off. If both these switches are making contact to either one of these wires, and depending on the wire it's making contact, if the feed is on the same color wire, you're going to get power to the light. If the feed is on the black wire, for instance, and this switch is on the red, well, naturally, you're not going to get any power, and therefore, the light will not light. Better understanding on this diagram here, here's your common, which is black. For the, it's actually hot, but it's called common on the uh, switch. But this is your hot which connects to what they call the common on the three-way switch. Your other two wires are what they call the travelers. This is the neutral, this is not broken. On your other switch over here is your travelers. Here's your black, which is common, okay, and your neutral, which goes straight through to the light. The black feeds the power on the high side of the light. Like I say, you could have several lights all controlled. doesn't have to be one. It could be five, six, or whatever. The Up to the maximum capacity of the circuit and the switch. Usually you use 14 gauge wire for lighting, but you can use 12. Actually, coming out of the panel, circuit breaker panel, you're going to have your typical uh, 14 2 with ground, okay? But then coming out of your switch, you're going to have to go to 14.3, in which case it'll have a white, it'll have a black, and it'll have a red, as well as the bare ground wire. So, you can, like I say, use 14, or I mean 12, 3 with ground, but that's pretty expensive. But if you have some heavy duty lighting, uh, you could probably do that. But uh, most cases you use 14 gauge wire. Going back to the switch drawing again, this is where your black wire would come in from the uh, breaker panel. That's your feed. This would be your travelers. One would go here, one would go here. It doesn't matter whether you use the red or the black. It doesn't really matter at all. Okay, so that's how you do that. And then, of course, your ground wire, bare wire, would be connected to the box. Whether it, it's a uh, metal box, then you'd ground it at the metal box. If it's a plastic box, then you'd put it on the ground screw that would be on the back of this switch. And that's basically all there is to it. And there's a lot of information on the Internet about this.